What's up, babes? Welcome to a new vlog. If this is your very first time here, my name is Maya. So, y'all, in this video, we're gonna be doing some exciting home updates. I'm so excited because we're finally changing out the lights in the house. And I'm so, so happy. Um, we got some concussion hazards in the house. We have the one that's here in the supposed to be kitchen dining area that we don't use as that. So we're getting that removed. We're removing the chandelier that's in the front room. And we're replacing those, getting a chandelier in the dining room and getting pendants over the island. So I'm really excited. Hi, baby. <laughs> My husband's looking at me. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. Also, we have some new furniture pieces that I want to style and figure out where I want to put them. So yeah, we got some good stuff going on in this video. I'm just super excited about the lighting situation because if you ever been in a home that's like dated or has like light fixtures that are, you know, not your vibe, not your style, when you change those out, it literally changes the whole vibe of the house. Like it ups it like it makes your house look more expensive it makes your house look more you know just you know matches the vibe that way you don't just have furniture that matches it but the lighting matches it and it just takes it up a notch so really excited about that i ordered here let me show you guys i ordered a um what's this called a ceiling fan right here i ordered a ceiling fan from amazon and i got a message yesterday that it's running late so it will not be here on time so hubby and i are about to run to lowe's or home depot and see if they have a ceiling fan because that's part of the uh job that the electricians are doing when they come today um and we don't have a ceiling fan <laughs> and i don't want to just not get it done and all the other lighting in this level is done so we want to get that done um this is going we're replacing that with a chandelier this is going with my um my baby Thank you, babe. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Y'all got me blushing. Um, <laughs> when my brother-in-law was here, he hit his head on this like three times, shot. It was not good. Uh, we don't hit our heads on it as much anymore because we know it's here and we're kind of used to it, but it's got to go because the room is made to where, you know, it's open here, living area, and then like a dining. Let me show y'all. It's made to have a living <laughs> there and then a kitchen table here. That's why this is so low. Um, the island and then this is actually a sunroom. So this originally, um, how they have it planned, is supposed to be like furniture and stuff in here. But we liked it better as a dining room. But the dining room technically was supposed to be here. That's why this light is so low. So we're replacing that and then we're also replacing this light in here. We got the same chandelier to go in this room as well as over the dining table and then I got a cage a black matte black cage light to go up here so very you know neutral and but still modern you know so but my light bulbs everything I'm so excited the things that you get excited about baby over 30 you hear me and not just over 30 I feel like if you own your own home <laughs> you get excited but I feel like had I bought my own home in my 20s this this would not have excited me because it's just I was just in a different space so I'm going to say over 30, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm really, really excited. I'm really hoping that they have a really cute ceiling fan. So yeah, y'all, excited. I'm waiting for Hubby to come downstairs and then we're going to head to Lowe's real quick and get the ceiling fan. I screenshotted one on my phone in the car. And I like it because it has, it color changes. Not color changes, but we can pick the, the um, Harbor Breeze, just the brand. This is Harbor Breeze right here, but it's black. It's like matte. That's what it looks like. It's matte black with five blades. There's some more on the other side. But yeah, y'all, I think I want to keep it matte black. I don't think I want to do any other colors or wood or anything like that. Let me see. What was the name of it? Harbor Breeze Flanagan. Flanagan 2? Yep. Yep, I think that's the one. That's a small box. It's 52 inches. That's good, though. That's all we need. Just one. All right, y'all. You got it. Easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So the last thing you guys saw was me and Jeff go and get this ceiling fan. The electricians finally came, and they came and they installed everything. So I wanted to show you guys a few things. Thank you so much to Nathan James for sponsoring today's video. And they did send me some amazing items. And hubby is over there making breakfast, y'all. So that's the sound that you hear. 
But anyway, they sent us some amazing items, y'all. I, pick, I picked out two different things that I knew that I wanted to see in the home. So, first things first, they did send us these. They sent us this beacon storage unit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture of it right here. I thought this was super, super cute. And I was like, I've gotta have this in my house. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but that's besides the point. We're gonna figure that out. <laughs> we will figure out exactly where it's gonna go, but they did send it and I already unboxed it and hubby and I are about to go ahead and put these together. These are them right here. So they don't look very hard to put together and I'm a G at this, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't concerned. So yeah, before we get into that y'all, I'm gonna show you guys or talk to you guys about Nathan James. They have so many products that are perfect for my home. Y'all know my style is more like the black and the white and the wood, you know, type of vibe with some splashes of gold. <laughs> But I love all the products that they do have on their site. One thing I love about Nathan James is they have items that make your home look more designer. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know I've been trying to elevate my home and make it look very expensive, but you can get that look for less with Nathan James. Another thing that's really great about them is they always have um, free shipping and they have limited warranties on their, on their products as well. So we always like that. I'm about to, well, hubby is finishing breakfast. <laughs> we're about to eat some breakfast and then we're gonna start putting these things together. I'll show you guys those later on in this video. We are going to, and y'all don't mind me, I'm just mindlessly walking around. <laughs> and later on in the video. You're not mindlessly doing anything. I'm you're, not. You're doing it, you look better. Thank you, baby. Listen, listen. <laughs> everything is strategic, okay? Yeah. Thank you, babes. Love you. I love you too. So y'all, later on in the video, we're gonna find out where we're gonna put those cabinets because I don't know, there's like three or four different places in the house where I might want to put them. So we'll figure that out later. But for now, we're gonna put these together and then I also am gonna show you guys the other thing that I got from them as well because it's lighting. So we just got done with these beacon cabinets and they look very, very good. Me and my baby did a good job. <laughs> How long do you think it take, took us to finish these, babe? Uh, about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? It was just because we had to figure out that one part, but I think it would have taken us about 15 minutes if we didn't have that. So then it kept dropping the screws. Screws. Yeah, so um, it didn't take us long at all. He put a, put one together and I put one together and it looks really, really good. Um, I really love the quality of their pieces. They're really, really good quality. Nice and sturdy. The instructions were pretty easy to follow. It was relatively easy to put together. Like I said, it didn't take too long. And yeah, y'all, it looks really, really good. So I feel like it matches the aesthetic perfectly, doesn't it, babe? This goes well because if you look at the dressers right here, they have the seated, uh, the, 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 the thing at the of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that's yeah. underneath. And, the, and what you have on your couch with the um, brown, brown pillows. And yeah, it matches really, really well. You think we should keep it behind the couch? Yeah, that's what, we're, that's what we're figuring out. But the thing is, if I keep it behind the couch, you know I gotta do the decor and everything on top. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So, and the only thing, babes, is the fact that it's a little higher than the couch. And typically they say it needs to be couch length or lower. That's my only concern. But this was like one of the main places I was thinking about putting them. And then another thing that we got from Nathan James, y'all, are the pendants for the kitchen. So let me give y'all a better view. You just gonna stand there and eat your grapes? <laughs> you try. So anyway, y'all, these we got from Nathan James. The electrician came and installed them yesterday along with other lighting that we're gonna go over here in a minute. But y'all, these just add so much to the kitchen. I love them. You love them, babes? Yeah, they look really, really good. These are nice and heavy. When I first got them, I was like, see, this is my hand. That's how big they are. They're kind of big. You kind of can't see, but when we first got them, I was like, oh my God, I hope I didn't get too big for this island. And I only got two, because I knew we only could fit two here. But y'all, it ended up looking really, really good. He hung them at the right um, height. 
Yeah, I actually love these, y'all. Um, I love that they just kind of set the vibe in here and kind of just finish off the kitchen. I feel like we were missing something and I feel like the pendants really added to that. Again, thank you so much to Nathan James. Y'all know I'm always throwing my warm up for no reason. <laughs> thank you so much to Nathan James for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys click the link in the description to shop Nathan James. I feel like a lot of you guys have um, similar styles as me i'm not sure home wise but if you do sis go and definitely check them out they got some great pieces for great prices and y'all know i gotta save y'all some money i do have a discount code with them so i'm gonna leave that right here and make sure you click the link in the description to check them out all right y'all so this video is not necessarily in order <laughs> <laughs> but you know we gonna put it all together like it is but i'm waiting now because our house is on the way with our stools i'm so excited you guys know we've had these black stools here let me turn this other light on because it hasn't gotten removed yet like i said this ain't in order <laughs> but anyway <laughs> we don't have our pendants but it's fine um yeah these are going away Bye bye. Uh, my sister, when I first got them, my sister was like, just try them out, see if you like them. They might work because it, take, it doesn't take away from the detail of the Waterfall Island. However, <laughs> I live with them and I do not like it. They're okay, they're cool, they're very neutral in the space, you know what I'm saying? But I just do not like it. I am gonna go ahead, obviously, and replace them. Our house is on the way, and I am so, so excited. So they'll be here in a second. Another thing I want to mention real quick, I did listen to you guys on my last house update video, home updates video, that this should go by the door, and that is where she is moving to. I might keep that light there and put something else here, but this in particular, this whole little, um, setup will be, let's walk this way, let's walk that way, this way, this way, this way. This is our front door. It will be right here. So my sister agreed when she came, she was like, yeah, it gives like that grand entrance vibe and we want the grand entrance vibe. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that is what we're going to do. I am so excited about these stools. Y'all have no idea. Okay, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have this, um, this is one of the benches for the table. The table is moved right now because like I said, it's not in order. So the electrician is on the way um, to come and finish the lighting because this hasn't been replaced yet. But I have this right here because um, we were just moving things around and I just pushed it up there because my sister was like, take that and put it right here. But this works and does the same thing just to see if I want a sofa table. And I think I do. Now, of course, this is too short. This is goes to the dining set, you know what I'm saying? But it does put me in the mindset of having a table here. But I, obviously, I would want it to be at least this high um, or a little bit lower than the back of the couch, which is already low. I'm loving it. I am truly, truly loving that idea. That is in the works as far as, you know, decorating um, that area for the future. Not in this video, but <laughs> for the future, we are going to work on that. So this weekend, we are gonna get to the store. I want to go and do some shopping because later in the video, we are gonna figure out to where those um, cabinets from Nathan James are gonna go in the house. So once I figure that out, we need decor so we can set up the whole vibe and the whole like, you know, setup, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah. All right, y'all, let's, let's see when they're gonna get here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I really hope it looks good in the space. Um, I told you guys last week that I was filming this video uh, at the same time as last week's vlog. So I just finished my Chipotle that came. <laughs> and I still have all my little, my little uh, crop top and my shorts. So I just threw this on because people was coming to the door and stuff.
check them out, make sure everything looks good. Mm -hmm. love them i think they look really good in the space they bring everything together you know they match the vibes i can't wait to get the pendants on here actually <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> insert footage of it with the pendants <laughs> since i think we've already gone through that in this video so yeah y'all i am absolutely loving the vibes of the stools i didn't have to wait too long for them they are absolutely gorgeous top to bottom hold up i need to sit in them hold up y'all I'm all excited and forget it's a chair and didn't even sit in it. It's comfy. <laughs> yeah, I love that it has a back so now we can kind of chill out in the mornings when we're chilling and having our food and everything. And the three fits here perfectly. Three is all we needed. And I'm happy I didn't get four because it wasn't gonna fit. So yeah, she's so cute. I am very, very happy with these. And when you slide them, they don't do anything to the floor too. So I do love that. And yeah, I think Hubby and Amira, I think they are going to absolutely love these. And this is performance fabric too, y'all. So it's easily, easily, easily wipe offable. <laughs> so it's made to, you know, kind of stand, stand the test of time. And I love them. I think they are amazing. This was a good purchase. I, I'm very happy. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we also got new lighting, y'all. So um, I told y'all last time that we had a home updates video that next time we were gonna be updating the lighting on this level. You already can see the light that's over here. So I'm super, super excited, super excited to change out the lighting. So fun fact, this chandelier was picked out by my hubby. You did. We were on Amazon and he was trying to help me to figure out which one we were going to get. And this is the one that he chose. So we decided to get the same chandelier for both the dining room and the living room. And originally, and I'm gonna turn it on in a minute, y'all. But originally, I was going to get a chandelier that hung down a little bit lower in this area. However, we have not decided if we're selling this home or not once we're done. So I didn't want to just permanently make this into a dining room since technically it's not a dining room for the build of the home you know what i'm saying so they might want to use this as a traditional sunroom so i didn't want to get something that was hanging too low so i decided to get something a little bit more flush but that still gave that like chandelier vibe right let me see if y'all can see once i turn it oh there we go oh, that look good i have not seen this light on you haven't seen it on? I have, no, no, I have not seen it i thought i turned the light on yesterday when you saw it um but yeah it looks really good y'all i love like the pattern that it makes on the ceiling too and it just sets the vibe so absolutely love it and i feel like because we don't have it hanging too low it gives us the opportunity to even do something higher as far as centerpiece wise on the table so yeah y'all it's a vibe i really love it it's so crazy to me how lighting can truly like change the vibe of the space because i feel like it totally changes the vibe you know what i'm saying and i love that so that's that one. Don't mind the actual room because this is, you know, work in progress. But we have it in here too. Obviously that's the door and then it's right here. So yeah, I love the chandelier. My baby did a good job choosing this chandelier. I absolutely love it. In this room, y'all, I know we haven't started to, you know, decorate it and the window's open. That's why I'm not trying, trying not to show the window, but we still have to figure out what's going on in this room. Let me show y'all from an angle over here. But yeah, still haven't figured out what's going on in this room. Um, but I do know it's going to be like a couch and two chairs type of vibe. Um, I might get like a really big mirror, um, like floor mirror. I'm just trying to figure that out. I'm not sure yet, but I don't, I want to take my time because you guys know that I feel like I've been moving too fast in certain areas of the home and I don't want to regret it, spend money and then spend money all over again to redecorate, right? So work in progress. We have a board on Pinterest figuring that out. So yeah, but I do love the chandelier in here. We also changed out this light right here. Um, Jeff and I bought this light a while ago. Um, it, it was, it's been a minute. Let me turn this light on for you guys. Yeah, it's been a minute since we purchased this light. I think we got it at Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. 
Lowe's baby? Yep. Yeah, so I like this light. I like how it illuminates onto the ceiling, but part of me, um, come on, focus. Part of me feels like it might not match the vibe, but it is just a matte black, so it's very neutral, you know? But in my mind, either way, it's staying, at least for now. <laughs> but um, I do like it. It's way better than what was there before. So um, yeah, there's that. And all of this stuff, I'm gonna link for you guys in the description box. But remember y'all went with us to go get a, what we go get the other day? Ceiling fan? So the way life usually is lifing, <laughs> the ceiling fan that was supposed to be here from Amazon decided to arrive <laughs> about, um, hold up y'all, I'm a little dark. Yeah, it decided to arrive that same day, even though it told me that morning that it wasn't gonna arrive till the next day. So we went ahead and got that one installed and we're gonna save the one that we purchased from Lowe's for um, the rest of the house. Cause I think I'm gonna replace all of the ones eventually. <laughs> this was my priority eventually we'll replace all of them but this is the ceiling fan we ended up getting this is from amazon i will make sure i link it below but the only thing that i don't like about the um the ceiling fan is i feel like it's supposed to be gold but it's more like a copper look but because it's so high and you actually don't see the top unless you're like on the steps it's not that big of a deal you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna complain <laughs> about it um but i do love the sleekness of it it does come on with the switch um but it also has has a remote control. Where is that remote? Oh my God. I think the remote is right here. I gotta find a place to store these remotes, y'all. I gotta figure that out over here. <laughs> Something cute and aesthetically pleasing. But they have a remote control, so you can turn the fan on. Let's see, I think this is the button for the fan. Yeah, and then you can figure out how fast you want it to go. So I'm gonna just put it on four. And then it's just gonna slowly speed up. It's a it's super quiet as well, so I do love that. So um, I love this for in here. It does have an LED light on it too. Actually, most of the I'm not even gonna say most. All of the bulbs in the house are LED. So yeah, I love all of the lighting that we replaced up here um, or down here. <laughs> I feel like they look really good. Yeah, I feel like they look really good, and I feel like it really um, elevates the space down here. Um, and that's what I wanted. So since this was my priority as far as decorating wise, was to get was to get this bottom, was to get this main level together. I'm really loving um, how it's coming together. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> we did just decide that we cannot leave this here. So later on in the vlog, we are gonna kind of go over where we're gonna put it. And this is the reason we can't leave it here because you can see like the back behind the couch. And that's what I was just saying to Jeff, like about um, how we wanna make sure that, or or they tell you that when you have a sofa table, it needs to be lower than the sofa. Oh yeah, can't do that. I wish we could though. If this was a little lower, I think I would use it as a sofa table. But, you know... We're gonna see. One thing I did just think about, okay. I said I was gonna talk about this later on the vlog. So we're gonna mess around with it and play with it a little bit later. Now that we got all those lights installed, um, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I wanna do with lighting on this floor, not including my office. Um, so I've been thinking about getting like wall, um, they're not wall pennants, what are they called? Wall sconces. But I don't know where I would want to put them just to create like, the nighttime mood. I know I already have that light over the artwork there, and then um, we're gonna have one in there too, but I was originally thinking about doing like wall sconces here and there, or on both sides of the dining room. Still deciding on that. I don't know if that's actually gonna come to fruition, because what I don't wanna do is do too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do still like a very simple, design and even though i want it to look very put together i don't want it to look overdone so yeah that is up for discussion later on we'll see what happens with that but that's what i'm thinking so we shall see so yeah y'all those are the lighting updates i'm super super happy and excited about it and i'm a happy camper <laughs> what's up y'all good morning so today y'all we're gonna be figuring out where the heck we want to put our sideboard from nathan james in my mind <laughs> there are two different places down here that i was thinking about possibly putting it there was a third real quick <laughs> i was thinking about initially putting it over there 
But the only thing, obviously, that does not work out with the light in the artwork, right? Because I feel like that would look nice, but I really love this. I really love that dresser, not dresser, uh, bookcase on the side there. I really love that right there. So that is no longer an option. However, an option is now, um, this was obviously, this was an option too, but we see why that didn't work out. But now the option for in here is to switch those with the console table over there. Now the only thing about that is obviously we're not gonna keep that mirror if we do end up putting it over there. Um, and I kinda wanna just play around with it, put it over there, see if I like it. But I'm a little bit more inclined to think that it's gonna go we're actually about to make some changes in here. I got some plans, but I'm thinking about putting it over here. Um, my sister told me, she's always told me this, but she was like, that is one of the vantage points. You know, when you walk into the front door from over here and you see the open, you see the doors, that wall is what you see. So she's like, that needs to be a focal point. It needs to be, you know, beautified and make sure that it looks really good. So real quick, before we go grab it, and put it in here and see how we like it. Cause I think this is where we're gonna put it. I think this is it. I'm almost certain. I might not even try it in there. But anyway, these two, that one and that one, those are probably gonna go. <laughs> and if they don't go, I might, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them right now, but I don't think I want them in here anymore. Because another idea that we have in here, y'all, not idea, I think I wanna do it. I'm gonna paint this wall black. And that's kind of crazy for me, right? But I don't think it's crazy. My style has been evolving as I got this house. I knew the vibe I wanted. I know I want it to be bright, airy, uh, white, then black and wood accents. But I feel like that wall black with both of those artworks still there. Come on, focus. With both of the artworks still there and then maybe put lights above it. Cause one of you guys suggested to me that I put lights, um, picture lights above those. And I think that's what I want to do. It's gonna be a, gonna be a vibe in here and I spent so much of my time in here and already it has a lot of natural light from the window and if we put the sideboard in here we can do a mirror which will reflect the light even more so I think that's the, the, what we're gonna do but I do still want to see real quick <laughs> what this does look like in here um and we can kind of play with it and see so first things first, we're gonna take everything off of this table and then we're gonna switch those out and just kind of get the vibe for it and see what happens. matchy obviously it's not centered anymore because this is longer than that uh, table however I didn't think I was gonna like the matchy matchy from the jute that's on the mirror let me show y'all close up the jute that's on the mirror next to the sideboard I I didn't think I was gonna like that but it looks really good uh, <laughs> and then here is this um, table on the back now, I actually like the view from this. This looks really good. However, I do feel like this table is too short to go here. What we could do, but see, that's, that defeats the purpose. So what I was going to say is what we could do is take that into the office, that table, but the point of having the, something in the office was for storage. You know what I'm saying? So 
And I just thought that was going to look really good in the office with the black wall. I don't know. <laughs> I was not expecting to be kind of lost on this. I like how this looks, but here's the thing. This table is, looks nice for now, but I wouldn't be able to keep that there. To me, personally, it is not long enough. But imagine this, because I saw this on Pinterest. Somebody did this. So on Pinterest, y'all, what happened is the lady had a, a table right here, but she had it like more practical. So she actually had seats. They were kind of like, I mean, posts are cool, but then she had like actual seats to where the kids could use this as like a far area to watch TV. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have breakfast here, you can sit down, you can eat. I don't think these puffs will really do the job though. Let me see. They could. They could do the job. Like you can sit here and eat, but but knowing me, I'm gonna want to put decor on here though. So it's like it's practical. If I can find a table that's a little lower than this with these puffs, this will be a perfect place for like. A mirror of the boys to just sit, have a snack, or have their breakfast while they watch the TV in the morning or something. Um, I love that idea. I love that idea. But that might be something that we might tackle later on. But I don't know. Now I don't even low key want to take it in there. <laughs> Cause it's like, is that really what I want now? Decisions, decisions. I don't know. <laughs> And then it's like, I like my decor on this table more than I liked it on the other one as well. I don't know why though. It's, y'all, I'm a little more confused than I thought I was gonna be. All right, y'all, so I literally just walked around in silence for like 10 minutes trying to put wrap my mind around how I want this to look. And I'm really in love with this. Hubby is on his way home. He had a meeting this morning, so I'm gonna ask him what he thinks about this, y'all, because I am loving how this looks, and I didn't think I would. And I love the practicality of having that as kind of like a little bar table for like breakfast. I love that idea. I know it's a lot, but that's my thing. Like, is that overdoing it? Because we have <laughs> the island there, we have that there so you can watch TV, and then we have the actual dining table over there. I don't think so. I think for me personally, I'm gonna say I don't think it's, you know, impractical only because I feel like we utilize this space the most. And especially since my sons will be here this summer, I feel like it makes sense. We're down here a lot. Something else that I feel works in the favor of this staying here, as y'all know, I just was talking about storage. So Amira and Jeff, they like to do their artwork. Uh, we can store their artwork and stuff in here. Um, we can put, like sometimes I come down here and have my devotions, like you can store things like that. Now I do need, I am gonna need storage in the office, but you know what I'm thinking about doing y'all? What if I end up getting the black beacon ones and put those in the office? You know what I'm saying? Or put those out here and put that in the office. I might want those because this is fire. I love that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for hubby to get home <laughs> and we're gonna ask him what he thinks about this setup because I'm a little stumped now and that kind of derails my whole day. So the plan for the day originally was to take the cabinets into the office and then find some inspiration and then go out and shop for inspiration and set up that wall in the office. But now I don't know if I wanna, Let's see what hubby thinks <laughs> before we keep wasting time, job. All right, y'all, hubby is home. So I want to get his opinion about this. So he's, first of all, I was in there editing this part up and he already liked what he saw on the camera. So look, babes. So first of all, obviously, I put the sideboards over there. I didn't think I was going to like how it looked, but I actually really love how it looks. Um, and then I moved that table over here. But check out this idea, right? Of course, you know me. I'm gonna, I wanna put like, you know, um, decor and stuff right there. However, what if, so I was on Pinterest, right? And I saw this lady, she did like a sofa table or whatever. Um, I don't know if it was as high or it was lower, her child was higher, but she had decor on it, but not a whole lot. And she had like either puffs underneath it or like different like things like this that kind of can double as like a seat or a table. And like 
like she had kids, right? So when they like ate breakfast and they wanted to like watch TV, they could just like sit here and watch TV. I like that. Do you like that idea? Absolutely. I mean, you know, with everything that we do, you want it to be aesthetic, but you also want it to be functional. Yeah, we want it to be practical, so, right? Yeah, so it's, I, I like it a lot. I think that everything that you're doing so far, um, as far as the way you end them. This right here, I like the aesthetic of this because it makes that mirror pop. Like everything. Okay. So that's something I was going to ask you about. Because yeah. that was the reason why I didn't think I was going to like it over there. Because I didn't want it to be too matchy-matchy to the mirror. But it's actually not... It's not. It's not bad. No. So it matches, but it makes the inner the inner part of that mirror pops a little bit. Plus that black. Candles, yeah, and then that, and with those candles. So, yeah. it all, so all that stuff kind of offsets it with the white. So it looks good. It looks really good. No, it's, not, it's not like a flush type thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not like look at it and it seems camouflaged. Right. That was my concern. Yeah. But I do like that. I like how it looks. And then I love this idea right here. Now, of course, like I said, I would do some decor here, but it would be something that's very um, minimal so that if we my, wanted to use it like that, we could, you my know? My concern with the kids eating right is, is the, couch. the couch. That's it. Yeah. yeah like, even though this is functional and even though it has an aesthetic appeal to it, like, you know, kids are messy. Yeah, they are. So I, that's, that's my only concern. I would say, you know, to make it more practical, what we can do is like obviously when they do eat, we just pull it away. Pull it away a little bit, yeah. which is not bad because yeah. it's lightweight and you can move it. But I feel like it's super practical, especially since we spend most of our time in here. Like we're in here all the time. Um, and I then like you like it? I love it. And then, and I, I feel like when you look at it, like from an angle, like when you step back, like it looks good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it all kind of blends together, like this, this which is right good. Here. Yeah. No, y'all, y'all, don't listen to Jeff. Let me tell y'all something about your brother Long. He want to keep this. He want to keep the um shade on there. He thinks hey, it looks good. I like it. But babe, it's not the right. I know, brand. I know, babe, I know. But I just like it. I mean, like, I get it. <laughs> when you look at it, it does pop against everything else, and it looks like it stands out like a sore eye. But it does. For some reason, I like it. But what I'm saying is, I was actually, it was a joke. <laughs> I was just saying, nothing over there does that. <laughs> right, I feel you, baby. Yeah. Another thing I want to mention with the sideboard over here, so that we can stop putting all of our storage inside the little wine area and we can use it for something else, you guys can store like your art and stuff in here. Yeah, originally I was going to put it in the office because we need storage in the office, right? Because, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you know, we got papers and stuff that's piling up on those book, book, book cases and stuff like that. But we also need storage in here. Cause like say there's magazines or books we read often or you guys art stuff cause you guys do art in here a lot. I felt like that was a good place to like store things that we need. Yeah y'all, um, that kind of derailed my, that kind of derailed my plans for the day because I was originally gonna put this in the office. But what that does allow us to do is let the office be its own thing because I told you guys to plan some of the plans I had in the office as far as making the wall black and getting the lights and everything. That gives us an opportunity to just do that in a separate video and kind of just do a whole little office update type of thing. So. You know you could have waited until I got home so I can help put that over. Oh, never mind, I forgot you are filming it, that's why. I am filming it, yeah, that's why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if y'all see me <laughs> filming stuff and I'm moving furniture, it's because uh, Jeff's at work and I have to film and I'm on like time deadlines. So, because I'll just wait for you to do it. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, y'all. So, in this video, this video in particular is due today. So, that's why I needed to get it done. So, yeah, I like that bowl. I like the lamps and the base with all that stuff. It just meshes together. It meshes. I just said that earlier on here when I was doing it. I was like, I like my decor better on this than I did on the black table. Oh, yeah. I love, I love it. That looks really good. So now I'm trying to figure out what am I gonna put on this table, the coffee, the sofa table. You think that's easy, babes? You think so? Well, I'm gonna get on Pinterest and I'm gonna look for some inspiration and I'm gonna figure that out. But I must say, I'm very pleased and satisfied. So yeah, happy. All right, y'all, so that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> 
let me know in the comments. I know Bay said that he loves the mirror on there and I, I'm feeling it too. I didn't think I was, but let me know in the comments. Give me guys your opinion if you feel like I should change the mirror out or if you think we should keep that mirror above the uh, sideboard right there. Uh, console table, whatever you want to call it now. <laughs> let me know if you guys think that's good or if we should get something different because I thought about getting something bigger and then lining it, like layering it with art, but I might really love that. That might be, that might be it. So let me know in the comments. Thank you again to Nathan James for sponsoring today's vloggy vlog. And yeah, y'all, I'ma see y'all on the next one.